Hi folks, Harley Tuck here with MI Squared. I'm going to show you how to enter a new patient into the system. As far as I know, this is a capability that all the different access control privileges include. Your system administrator may have changed that, but at default, I, I believe everybody should be able to do this. Um, okay, new patient. You can either click the new patient button right up here at the top left corner, the left end of the of the uh, header bar, or in the left navigation menu under patient client, right down here, hit new search, new slash search, and you will come to this search or add patient screen, which as I've said, I don't like this as a search tool, but you can do that. Um, I'm going to move this boundary bar down so that I've still got a lower pane, but okay. By default, the only required data on a new patient is the date of birth and the sex and the name. Okay, these can be changed. That will be in a in a uh, workflow video most likely or it is already recorded on the open EMR wiki you can set any or all of these fields to be required <clears throat> um, in order to create a new patient okay but let's just stick with these and run through all the different things that you can enter okay we're gonna go DEMO Oh, this is their first name. I, I like having demo as a last name. Um, -E D-E-M-O. I suppose we should have it capitalized, okay? Um, if you've got an external ID scheme going, you would enter their their next, or, you know, their external ID uh, in there. If you're just using the system's automatically assigned PID, patient ID number, just leave this blank and it'll be <clears throat> assigned the next PID that's uh, up for assignment. Okay. Enter the date of birth. It's easiest just to use the, the picker um, because Typing it in requires a specific format, which it's probably a lot easier just to do this. You click on this, you hold down this year, the, the year button, and you can move on to find the year. Same with the month. Okay. Or the, you can navigate one month back, one year back, <coughs> one month forward, one year forward, and then select the date. Okay. Sex. At this point, the options are only male and female. You can get into you. You can configure the options in here. Um, the administrator can uh, get to the list and add other options on there, depending on how your what your uh, clinic does. Social security number again, not not required in order to make a new one. Marital status, these marital status drop-down lists uh, can be customized. Enter a nickname, a billing alert, if there's going to be any special information uh, about their billing that you know right off the bat. Uh, Medicaid status, whatever that may be. Test, okay, this was a customization that I added which this basically just shows you can customize the who section, the demographic section of the uh, patient information. Okay, when you have this all set up, look through these other panels and see what information you want to um, fill in. The provider takes its list from the num from the names in the uh, address book, all the people who are indicated as providers. Um, this also, this referring provider also takes from the list in the address book. Um, I think Dr. Who is an external doctor, I think. 
okay this pharmacy if you're if you're if you have pharmacies filled out in the facility information or excuse me the practice information you'll get a list of the pharmacies that this patient uses um, HIPAA notice received yes or no it's uh, you would select it when they finally received their HIPAA notice uh, and then a bunch of preferences allow voice message mail message email let's say yes uh, these different values can be changed in the demographics field later which when I'm done with this part I'll come back and show you where all this information ends up and again they can be edited once you're in the demographics okay all these different things allow patient portal sure okay contact information um, oh and look at this the address state country are all required to make a new a new uh, patient okay so this is one two three city state uh, let's let's make them from Colorado country USA um, this add button means you can add countries that will display on this list. Postal code 8888. If you're going to use the nine digit postal code, go ahead and put them all in as, as a single block. Don't put a dash in there. Any phone numbers, any trusted emails, etc., etc., any employer information that you may have on these people, on this, this person, this. Okay, statistics. Okay, that's right. With the new, with this newer version, that's they've updated it to uh, <coughs> require some of these things for meaningful use. Um, okay, language is required. Ethnicity, race, all this other information. Uh, miscellaneous. That's kind of odd. If they got a deceased date, I suppose you can come in after they after they die and fill this in here. This would not necessarily be put in on admission. Insurance information, whole mess of stuff. Now, primary, secondary, tertiary information. Let's just see if we can't create a new patient. Okay, when you hit create new patient or confirm create new patient it searches for the other other names that it has that are similar so that you make sure and don't duplicate patients okay in this case we've got another patient named dupe one demo and so it's like okay this is not the same person confirm that we're gonna create a new patient and now bingo they are now a new patient and any active alerts that are activated will show up so the patient demographic screen patient summary screen is where all that information appears and in the demographics you see it's displaying the de demographics that we entered choices all this stuff shows up here if you want to edit any of these you click on edit demographics and you can go in and change date of birth if you want actually that would be a zero one okay and then when you're done you save okay um, if no insurance has been specified like like on the initial patient entry data entry we didn't put any insurance information in there so you're going to have to enter that by clicking on demographics and then come down here to the insurance information okay so that's how you get to enter the insurance if you didn't do it on admit or you know initial intake whatever okay okay so the patient summary screen has got all these these different widgets on the right um, you can read these yourselves these will have a list of things like the appointments any medical problems that have been filled in um, 
uh, medical history is added elsewhere. Current medications, immunizations, etc., etc. If your patient has has a medical history that you need to add, this is the the health history, family history, lifestyle uh, factors which you would edit and enter these different things. Okay, go back to patient. Or if you've got a current, like a problem list or a medication list, you click on issues and you would register every medical problem, every allergy, medications, or current medications, or their past history, which I'm not going to go through every one of these, but there should be documentation on how to enter these issues on the wiki. Um, meaningful use requires. On allergies, when you admit somebody, if they, if you don't know that they've got allergies, click none. Okay, or you can change that to no known allergies. Whereas if you just leave it unchecked, you know, just leave the item alone, it won't register in your meaningful use measures that allergies have been assessed. Okay, so you won't get credit for noticing that this person has no allergies. So if they, if they actively don't have medical problems, you need to click none. If they actively do not have medications, click none. Allergies, same thing. Okay, so in, in these uh, fields, or excuse me, this, this display here, to get back to the patient demographic or the patient summary screen you can click on the person's name or in this left hand menu nav menu you can click on summary and it brings back the summary screen okay so all the rest of these items are going to take more time to go into another time and that's your basic how to add a new patient